I choose milking because they're a family farm. Their cattle are raised well, humanely, and they are low temp pasteurized, which means you still get a lot of that really healthy bacteria and full flavor in the milk. When we were younger, my dad used to milk the cows sometimes and then just pass us some so we could see what it tasted like. And when I tried milking, I was like, oh, this is that. This is what that is. I remembered that taste and tasted it in that milk. And so that's why I like it. So I'm here with Craig Miller, and he's a third generation dairy farmer. You have three different breeds of cattle. Tell me about those three. We have Holstein, we have Brown Swiss, and we have Jersey. We keep the Holstein because that is what most people associate with palatable milk. We keep the Jersey because it's very rich in butter fat. And then we keep the Brown Swiss because they're rich in protein. And we have a three-way cross in there so that we make the milk that we like to drink, and that's what we offer to our customers. So what percentage of each? About a third, a third, and a third. Oh, OK, well, that's easy. Yeah. What they do here at Mill King is they use vat pasteurization, which is low temp mm -hmm. pasteurization. Most commodity dairy, the stuff you buy for low prices at the grocery store, is pasteurized hot and fast. A corporation will take the milk and cook it at just, for instance, 185 degrees for three seconds. We do something a lot more gentle. We do 145 degrees for 30 minutes. And then we pump it through and we cool it down. That's going to change a lot inside the milk. First off, we're not going to homogenize that milk. So we're not ripping apart the protein chains that our bodies have evolved to recognize and turning them into protein chains that we don't recognize. That's where a lot of people get headaches, heartburn, diarrhea, indigestion. Oh, interesting. And even long-term effects like leaky gut and things like that, they can be pretty severe. Yeah. So for those of you who don't really understand how dairy works, a lot of farmers, I would say most farmers, sell their milk into the commodity market, into co-ops, and then you're only getting the commodity price, whatever the market is paying at the moment. So your income could be up here one year and down here the next yeah. year. It's very difficult. The commodity price is about $14, which is similar to what it was in 1977. So dairymen have not had a pay increase in 40 years on everything except for their pay price. Wow. So the industry is very difficult, has been my entire life. But that's why people like you are deciding to essentially make their dairies into standalone brands. Rather than selling to the commodity market, Correct. you are labeling and you're selling to people like Kathleen Correct. who say proudly that they are using your specific milk from here because of the way that you treat Correct. your cows. Correct. We have a totally different product than what the co-ops offer. We raise our animals different. We milk our animals different. We treat the milk different in processing. We deliver it different. We're a different company from start to finish. And it allows us to have a profit margin where we can actually stay in the market. It's sustainable for you. It's sustainable for everyone, yes.